Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, still ongoing with the war, trying to knock out a few more planets to see if we can't drive that to its conclusion. Getting there, slowly, but getting there. Uh, we also had a robot uprising in one of our vassals that we are just sending some fleets to go help deal with. They're on their way, should be there relatively soon, I hope. And uh, the Penrose Sphere, we're beginning to build the habitable sections of the Penrose Sphere, of the ring world around the Penrose Sphere. And we are also uh, building the construction site for the orbital shipyard in the Wolf 359 system. Had to deal with some pirates, took care of that, and uh, yeah, things are just proceeding. I'm just gonna have to deal with these uh, this robot uprising and uh, see how that goes. Upgrades are still ongoing with the fleets, but those are starting to get there and we're beginning to finish off the final upgrades of all of our star bases um, our naval capacity has increased significantly yeah things are going pretty well all right let's go ahead and uh, get things running Now, why aren't you bombing this planet? No, it's the wrong thing. Overlord. Oh, Overlord, right, is the, um... I was getting confused. The soul is a juggernaut, the Overlord is the, uh, the planet cracker. They are heading there. Now, the eighth and the ninth fleets that we were. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, the eighth fleet is almost there. Ninth Fleet still has a ways to go. Sonic Thrusters 4. Black Artillery. Research Speed. Go ahead and knock that out. Only take two months. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to send any ground troops down here. I'm hoping that our vassal will be able to use their own ground troops if needed. We'll see. How large is that fleet? 12.7? Scientific breakthrough achieved. Shield hit points. I guess we'll take energy credits from jobs. I 
like to wipe out that fleet. We'll get there. Equatorial Shipyard construction site is complete. All right, so go ahead and start the frame. And we have an archaeological site event. Okay. The elevator unit reported it has reached the amplifier. Like inside the previous planets, a force field creates a void of space around the amplifier, but instead of keeping the crust material from crushing the amplifier object, it now prevents the atmosphere and the pressure of it from doing so. The crew is ready to undertake the necessary steps to enter the object. All right. They are assaulting our spaceport. Beginning attack run on enemy station. They're building a gateway here. At least somebody was. We're gonna head that way and engage that fleet. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, edit duration increased. I guess we'll take the army health. Uh, research speed for engineering is increased by five percent. Uh, crystal reinforced armor seven. Yeah, I'll take that. We lost no ships. Are they trying to flee? Battle is joined. Too late. Our ships have been made superior. The emergency jumped. Alright, we've reestablished control there. Move on to the next system. All right, second fleet has completed its initial round of upgrades. I'm gonna queue them back in for the next set of minor upgrades. All right, how are we looking over here? Our ships have been made superior. Okay, well, they're done. All right, still not ready for landing. All right, second fleet, if you are done, then you can head down into this area. I guess I'll queue you in for upgrades. I'll knock that out real they fast. Are our spaceport. 
Our ships have been made superior. Done. Oh, that's just a minor outpost. It looks like we are going to have to land troops, or troops are going to have to be landed on those planets to take them back. But, um, yeah, we'll just kind of let that go as needed. Uh, you're heading all the way down here. Let them get a little bit closer, then I think I'm going to try and jump them into this area. Right, that planet is ready for occupation. Land those armies. No losses, no losses. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. All right. Now that you are close enough, go ahead and jump into that system. Battle is joined. Okay. Well, that's going to get taken care of here. Oh my, that is a very, very large fleet. We might actually lose some ships here. We won't lose the battle, but we might lose some ships. Or they'll just emergency jump. We knocked out one destroyer, eight corvettes, a cruiser, and a battleship before they jumped, and we did not take any losses. Now it's showing that we occupy it. Okay, now I'll head there. Yep, they're going to be on cooldown for a little while. Warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. Excellent. No losses. All right. Well, let's head to the cousin system. Yep. 
And begin work there. Minus 15. There is their big fleet. They even get through my shields. There's a question. Albert Index made peace with the Jurin Technocracy. Jurin Technocracy took a bunch of stuff. All-knowing. Research 250 technologies. Oh, nice. Alright, let me just take a look here. What we got? Oh yeah, so the Jurin Technocracy took 14 systems. Valdari Citizen Commonwealth made peace with the Blessed Mishar Empire. Valdari Citizen Commonwealth uh, took a planet and a bunch of systems. Commonwealth of Shar took some stuff. We got our crystal reinforced armor. Stormfire auto cannons. We'll, we'll grab that. Sure, why not? Wealth of Shar. Took some stuff from the Blessed Mishar Empire. I think they're still bogged down with this war against the next sentience. So but the uh the Commonwealth of Shar is still dealing with their zero zero one fabricators. Alright, and we did not lose a ship. We knocked out 13 destroyers, 41 corvettes, 10 cruisers, and 11 battleships without taking any losses of my own. And looks like they did get through some ship shields. Some ships are a little banged up and are going to need some repairs, but otherwise, good to go. Alright, we head to the Brigham system. And then we might send this fleet over to the Screeching Abyss for repair. I believe the Screeching Abyss has some shipyards. It does. Well, the Ninth Fleet takes care of business elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, Zarklands Pilgrims are apparently on their way into the area. I might have them start bombardment. I think a lot of these ships have kind of self-repairing systems. Yeah, that's that one. Alright, but still... Head there.
All right, anything else we need to address here? Second fleet is in position. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Here's our energy cards from jobs. These will take our energy weapon attack speed. Are we actually starting to build up any sentient metal? No. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send this back. And we're going to start... Bombing some planets. Alright, 8th Fleet is fully repaired. And we start bombing some planets. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, Stormfire auto cannons, Thunder auto cannons. There's an enemy fleet. Prime actuators. One thing we're going to do is I want to go ahead and spend some of this cash. Bring in a bunch more sentient metal. See if we can accelerate those upgrades. Alright. Head here. I'd like to deal with that enemy fleet. I don't know, that's, those are pirates. Don't need to worry about them. Let's see what happens if we just eliminate all of the uh, enemy armies. All right, the enemy fleet is engaging. And they immediately warped out. Of the pin system. Scientific.
scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, what do we want to do here? Let's just grab the cheap one, the transgenic uh, crops. All right, let's uh, just take a look at how things are going in the other war. Still a lot of armies to burn through there. Over here, there's still more there than I'd like to deal with. Yeah, you're the cousins. Okay, this is ready to be occupied. Tradition, military schools, army starting experience, ship starting experience increased by 200. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. General Virpim Denvakwar has got the glory seeker. Our warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. Excellent. Next. All of our admirals leveled up. Minus 12. And we just need to occupy four more planets and then we should be done. Almost. Almost. We have established a new planetary base. All right. Two new achieved. colonies. This is the orbital habitat. Let's get a habitation district going. Actually, let's get one of each type of district going. And this is the... Ecumenopolis, right? Thunder auto cannons, kinetic cannon. I think I already had that. Well, that must be the next tier of it. Speaking of Ecumenopolis, Residential arcology foundries turns minerals into alloys. You know, let's let's build another one of those. Provides jobs. We don't really have the pumps for it, but let's at least get it in place. Oh, we lost a destroyer and a corvette, but we knocked out. Oh, there must have been a whole bunch of enemy fleets there. I didn't even realize. We completely destroyed. We did not completely destroy their fleets. We knocked out a lot of their ships. Let's have them begin bombing. All right, well, there is one of their fleets. And 
His uh, robot uprising is putting up more of a fight. Oh, that entire fleet is gone. We got more of a fight than the entire Federation that we are currently at war with. What does the um, enemy army look like on this planet? Uh, eh, yeah, that should be sufficient. We'll go ahead and land our troops there. Our ships have been made superior. Somehow I own this? I mean, I'll take it. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. All right, let's link that into the trade network. All right. Well, with that ground assault, I think we're going to end the episode here. We pretty much have the uh, the uprising locked down. Fourth fleet, you need to go ahead and queue back in real quick. They're just about done. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to put both of these wars to bed relatively quickly. Alright, so yeah, we'll stop here for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.